hear me now? Hello? Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm CJ, or as many of you call me, he says. Thank you, Suzanne, for saying that there was no sound. <laughs> and Sam. Oh, man. No. Let me try saying hi to everybody else. I don't know how the Streamlabs alerts will work, y'all, because I changed it. But let me... Hey, Russell. Hey, Mace. Hey, Sid. Hey, Roro. Hey, Chris. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sue. Hey, Suzanne. Hey, Peter. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Carol. Hey, Roro. I don't know if when this uploads, there will be two of me saying hi to everybody. If I missed you, I'm really, really sorry. Hi to y'all over on Twitch. Hey, Cindy. We have, it seems like, a lot going on in Heyday right now, but not a lot going on. And we're already getting ready to prep for another big event coming up. And then we have another event after that, and it's crazy. So we're just kind of going to do chill. Let's chat about what's going on. Do they change Twitch again? I don't have my Twitch pulled up. I have, uh, I'm not using uh, Restream right now, but I'm using something similar to it, so I can't see Twitch at the moment. Uh, I just see y'all's chats coming in. May it's next week is not a task event. It is going to be what they call Garden Week. And I will load up a picture and show you. We don't have a lot of information about it. Other than what they gave in Dairy News. But basically, from my understanding in Dairy News, it's going to be similar to more... Right now we have the two-time coin farm visitor events, but it's going to be a little more geared to just some some crops. Not all crops. Some. But we have so, so much going on. Uh, the... And I'm not, I hate wasting a bunny. It was a bunny task. But we're in timeout until tomorrow. And I have, if you haven't heard, I have plans on Saturday to meet Jen. She'll be coming through my vicinity. If I don't know if this is a problem for y'all while I'm on this board. I want you to look at this animal task here. This is not a gen. Y'all, this is not right. This is not a power derby amount. This is the full, and I mean full, derby. Regular derm. <laughs> gen, you're not. Oh my. This is the regular derby amount. I have seen others say it's happened with boats. Our boats seem to be okay. Hey Heather. I hope you're doing well. It's been a hot minute. Y'all. This is broken. We also have the bacon pass that is broken. It's come up with the same amount for bacon as it does in the normal. And I know we have a few players in normal derbies who will take, uh, the, who really need the long ones, but they're not playing the power derby. And so I'm, I've been trashing them too. <gasps> Congrats, Heather! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you! 
Oh, that's so exciting, Heather. Congratulations. That is such amazing news. I'm so unbelievably happy for you. I love me a good wedding, too. Hey, John. Welcome. Fun fact, when I was in college, I had a catering and business uh, for wedding planning. And I kept my license uh, to my license to be able to marry current. So I can actually perform weddings and I still have. Uh, they are so much fun. I love, I don't really do any of the catering anymore, but it, it really helps get me through college and I loved it. The last wedding I catered was in 22, I want to say. Uh, my, one of my cousins got married and I catered their wedding and performed the wedding and helped them plan. So it was, and I married my best friend. So I, like, they hold a special place in my heart. Try, uh, trying to match together some really fun things can be fun. So, Heather, hats off to you. It'll be such a fun journey for you. I'm so happy for you. Sam, you used the spreadsheet and you prepared yourself? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Have we entered an alternative universe here? Hey, Katina. Oh, Suzanne, it really, really does make a difference. Uh, I... I'm not. Is that even half the eggs? Maybe it is. I have to. Ch I'd have to check. That doesn't seem right on the eggs either. Uh, it's really helpful, especially if you have like to be organized or have multiple farms. And Russell, because they're tweaking things. I really think that they are trying to, is it 150? Well, no, feed is like 181. Eggs have to be less than that. I just don't do them very often. We have yeah, Jen. Uh, will you grab your Discord link and throw it up, just in case? If you're not in Jen, I know most of you probably are in Jen's Discord. If you're not. She's got an amazing spreadsheet to help with us uh, with prepping, especially when you have a ton of events going on. And this is one of the good things that I found about Well, no, Sam, some of them aren't, but we're talking like when I trash the goat milk, 31's the norm. Uh, the Train doesn't, it's always been like 13 for the town. And it's not that big of a 
掉。But some of them are. Thanks, John. I need to put that into a command. I'm more active in yours than my own. And your spreadsheet works so much better than what I anything I have. I use it. It's helpful. Let's talk about the county fair kind of how it's been going for everybody you know i love this thing the lucky bonuses take it or leave it it's actually made my barn a little too full that's what it is daniel you're right it's 138 so it is less it's still not half but it's close. The XP has been good in here. The coins aren't bad. It's more. Hey, Judith. Are you okay? I'm, I'm hoping because you are here in stream that you are okay. If if y'all are for mil the, 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 I can't talk, I swear. If you all aren't familiar with the Midwest, we are currently in tornado season. So, like, there's a hurricane season, there's monsoon season, there's even, I think, kind of, like, it's not technically called earthquake season, but there tends to be, like, an area. The Midwest right now is definitely in our tornado. The wind is really blowing outside my house so I'm not surprised that the weather has done that. Judith I am so glad you're okay. I hope that there wasn't a lot of damage from the tornado that is so scary and I really hope that nothing major happened to anybody else. I, Susan, I agree. This does not affect my regular gameplay that much. Especially because the, we, you know, we didn't get a lot of information ahead of time. No content creator did. We, so we, we've gotten, so us, I need to go pick up stuff. Probably need to go make stuff. But if we finish this, some of these points are totally off. I will say that. I, I hope there's been no other major losses, though, Judith. We need to work. Yes, I, and I think they're working on that, Russell. And I think that's why we're seeing a lot of things that are quote unquote broken. I have a feeling like a lot of players want the Mystery Derby back, but we need to be able to fix things like some of the tasks that come up during Mystery because if you're a free-to-play player and you're a lower level in a Mystery and you get the 31 goat milk, you're going to have a whole heap and amount of trouble. To get that done and all the rest of your tasks. So, because there's no booster for it. And we need those boosters. So I think they're kind of doing some behind the scenes tweaking. They're doing some. I think I put the wrong Twitch link up. Sorry, y'all. They're. My, uh, my Twitch command should work, but that one was wrong. I was playing with my... Trying to fix all of that today. I think they're trying to work on it. Maybe make some adjustments to the derbies. But... 
the county fair has been really nice. And all of us are testing this. In reality, this is a test. This is a new event. It's kind of a test. They're not calling it a beta, but that's, it's a new event. And I feel like we've been thrown a lot. The beta that they put in, somebody had commented that they wish the county fair gave us the mystery boxes like we get in just what they're doing for people who don't play the valley these mystery boxes that we usually find if you notice we haven't had an event like yes neon said that uh we haven't had like three times more mystery box event which i don't think i did but they're taking parts of the valley and they're putting it into more daily kind of rewards extra wise that way. The lucky bonus is definitely more of a cash grab. And I agree to that. It does two things. One, it fills your barn. You haven't realized that. I have not had to make, I have 19 beeswax. I did not make a single one of those. Those all came from the lucky bonus. And I really do like that that's available. I sometimes forget about it because it fills my barn and I try to save them till the end of the month when we're in the valley because you can see we're already close. It's part of the reason why I did the barn management videos that I've had. So, I'm getting closer to being full. Yes, I could sell some items. I'm not close enough to do my trick of, of buying, you know, just one to two here. I am closer here if I really wanted to. I could open, you know, this random spot. And it clears out 45 spaces. But I am trying to keep it in a generalized area. And I'm working backwards. So I'm trying not to. And Susan, I don't blame you. If you can not spend diamonds, that's great. I think that if we're going to do this, there needed to be two things. These rewards aren't bad. To be perfectly honest, they're, they're not the worst. You can definitely complain about them, but like eight of my purple, which are rare vouchers for me, and it takes a lot to get the pets, I'm happy with it. Even the 12 and 10 blue vouchers, because that's what you need for Maggie. Hey, Doris, has been helpful. I was able to get this blue platform for Maggie this week because I knew I had plenty of extra and I was going to get extra. Nails are rare for me, so it's not been something horrible. We can definitely tweak it. Some people have gotten, like Mace got a chick voucher. That's great for free-to-play players, especially, but the algorithm, I'm curious if it's set more to how you play in the personalization, or, because Mace and I are close in level, so I can't say, oh, it's because of the level. Sam doesn't want times. I may get that, but you can sell them and you're making money. Some people need the Thames. Tar is one of my rares. So it seems to be one of those things where at least they're mixing some of my rares in no problem. Okay, so a lot of you may not need Thames, but like I do. It's been helpful for me. But it brings up other problems with having 
excess of let's say uh, for me it's usually my duct tape here. So usually I have so many duct tape that this has never been even close to proportion that it is right now. And there's more in the paper if you're lucky. If you're lucky, there are more in the paper right now. And I, the level we need to raise the, they're never going to get rid of the limit, y'all, on expansion permits, or expansion items. One, it makes them money. Two, it kept a lot of problems at bay. Three, and most, that, that's probably the most important. One, but there needs to be an adjustment. But you can see, like, there's a tar bucket in here. I have to then choose to focus on which item I want to hey so I post that even if I'm not going to get the of course there's a little bit in Okay. Welcome back, Russell. Uh, there, there's the, there's just the problem of you have to focus on one and they're kind of spreading us out with some of the rewards. It's you know, bunch of lem and barn and silo expansion items, which is kind of fine. I don't mind my little trick. If y'all haven't seen it, y'all should. But spending, you know, a day, maybe two days worth of diamonds. My blue vouchers are fairly high. I'm trying to rebuild. They, they're just, the economy of Heyday is in need of adjustment. If you are somebody like Chris or Jen, raising the limit for what you need isn't a terrible idea. So that you can kind of progress. Wait, Russell, I'm lost on which one. If we're talking about the reason for the limit or not with that one. They're coming. I think we are. I'd like to see it kind of moved up. And you don't have to play the lucky bonus, which is nice, but I do, and you're still getting rewarded. It's just not XP and money. So I do like that. If there's a... Oh, yeah. If we're talking about that, then yes. I know. Okay. Hey, Linda. Okay, I've got some setting adjustments to do. Sorry, you guys. You can skip a day if you don't like it. If you don't need to, to a certain point, then you don't have to. You can always sell off the items you don't need. So I don't mind that aspect of this event. The lucky bonuses, some people got one, some got two. My theory, Mace, is this. 
Mace is a free-to-play player. Guess who is not a free-to-play player? Me. Out of the two of us, who is more likely to spend the diamonds than if they give me two, they could really rake in the money. Because if I'm getting, you know, really good prizes, which not every day has not been. I've taken pictures of what I've got. And you have to make that adjustment. Russell, you, you spend, but do you spend on the lucky pig bonus? If you spend real money, that, that isn't a question. Because you always get the deco. But when you go in to, wait, when you're in the valley, do you spend on lucky pig bonuses? Oh, okay, so Daniel, that debunks my idea. So it must be random. See, if if it were me, I would definitely have kind of adjusted it to knowing who plays the and spends on the Lucky Pig Thorns. Y'all, they know that. That's easy data to pull from your game. You're fine, Linda. Hi, I hope you're doing well. If uh, Cute Tessie joins, I believe that it is her birthday today, so I will, she would like, I will sing to her. If I had been programming this to test it, I definitely would have been like oh, taken the valley information and used it in there to, to be like, okay, they usually spend on things like the lucky pig bonus. We're throwing that in here. I would have liked a different game. I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't mind the lucky pig bonus. But there are... They could have done little things. Like, we could have even have... Okay, this... Peter will love this idea. They could have done something like Puzzle from Heyday Pop in here that giving you rewards as your... Like, if you've gotten through that puzzle then you get X rewards or as you pop you drop down the rewards you, you, they could have done something a little different than what we had but it's easy to test how we respond to it do we like the XP 360 XP for one is more than what I have on some of my trucks that offers Let's take your line. Okay, so 360 XP. That's more than what I'm getting here. Look at the item difference. I'm selling one item. The coin, not as much, but it's still actually really good considering what you're selling it for. The points on... Now, the ribbons are different. 25 for... This one's 32. It's not bad. 25 for two jams. Are you kidding me? And the XP and the coin on it? That should be fixed. That is an issue. I'm not going to do it. Because for 26, I can go get my two donuts. Boom, boom. Replant. Wheat. I accidentally used all but one today. Yeah, 62 for the BLT salad. And what I also like about this is when you're done, the points on the baskets go away. You can keep playing, earning the XP and coin, which are good. Or you can skip over them and prep all eight for the next morning. 
and they come back with the same points. You already know that it's going to say... When this came back, I already knew. Okay, it was going to be 27 ribbons. I already could count that up for my morning and know what I needed, which I do like. It's not the same as what I've seen in the other beta, which the tasks are different. They're more, that's been more like the farm pass daily tasks. And no, I didn't get it. I'm taking off of what I've seen of Ricky's. Where each day these change. And then you get the, hey, Sandra. I don't like the task that they've offered from what I've seen. Yes, like chopping trees. I mean, I, I they don't offer the original. The, the, that change. If I were to chop this tree down, come Halloween, there's no replacement. When they put that replacement in, fine. Don't necessarily mind it. We don't have all of it. We have colors, yes. We have, we do have some aspects, but we don't have Everything we need. No, the boat isn't... Okay, I should say, depending on the item, the boat is not better for getting coins. Which is what I like about this test. It takes the boats and the trucks and mixes it into one. You're, you're not getting it. You're getting vouchers. It's not random. You know ahead of time. So you know whether or not today you want to play. Overall, I like the county fair. I don't have to... I mean, look at this. Four. Four of my soybeans. No, I've barely sent any boats since the event has started. Made, oh, that was the other thing I was going to say. The coin and the XP boosters do seem to work with the county fair event. Which is nice. Because you're talking up to 50% of that 333 is a lot of XP. This even the coin. This is this event is better for money making than sending trucks or boats and even the town right now, except for when we have the two time XP or like the two time coin. And even some of the two time coin isn't as good. It has been really Nice. And they are definitely making some changes. I think they tested the newer, in reality, the beta that was in there is much newer. It's a harder thing to potentially program, which is why it was given small. But it wasn't the only option. And I don't like what I've seen in the rewards, but it doesn't mean that's what we're going to get. And I also understand that um, They're probably trying to fill in more things, not just to get you to come back every day, which in reality, if you come back every day to play, the likelihood is you're going to spend more money. But they're trying to fill in because if you were to... Tomorrow, I will finish my farm pass. 
I will have to buy my extras. They'll get my diamonds. So for those who do spend money on the game, I'll be done with my farm pass. We actually probably should go collect some of this. I'm not collecting my XP. I want to level up first. And just because there have been issues with deco, I always try to collect my deco and then check it first. But I save my XP till I level up. Uh, and then I'll collect it all at once to see kind of, hey Shelly. Oh, I think they should. By all means, they would make so much more money if they would bring back the 30%. And maybe they will. I'm going to get my puzzle pieces. I hoping maybe they'd finish. But we have so many puzzles open. We'll go see where they fall to. Okay. There's just I don't either. Suzanne, I went from spending okay. I was buying them on three farms. I'm not gonna tell you which offers. If y'all have been subscribed long enough and watching, you know which offer I bought. So I was buying that three times a month. Okay. And using them. Not even as sparsely as I do now. Like, okay, I knew fairly regularly at least once a month I was getting it. Not a problem. Now we have these offers that come up. Oh yeah, I'm in pounds because I'm under my Finland account. Sorry uh, to throw anybody off. It's really going to be US dollars. But I'm currently signed in under my Finland account. In Apple. Uh, so they would they would make any lost revenue and actually they probably with some of the new events have more. Yes, Mace, I have a Finland Apple account. I have to. Hey Amy, Miss there um Well, I, w I was not going to cover that. Sandra, it's actually fairly normal around for the Supercell content creators to have the Finland account, but I know it's not common for many players but I just wanted to let you know that's why it's changed because I am saying it I was trying to get squad busters before the soft launch and I still can't access it I'm not high enough in the program to have that access um I want to answer you, Mace, but I think I'm going to defer to this. Okay. There, I know, Peter. Uh, so the way they had did the original beta 
I don't have Android devices. And it wasn't high, I'm not high enough in the program to have gotten the, the, um, just not, I'm not high enough, I'm not high enough to get access, even though I have quite a bit and y'all are going to get some amazing things once I can hit those barriers that they, those goals, whatever you want to call them. Um, I've saved up a lot to do and give back to the community because you guys have really, really helped me get somewhere. But, um, if you had been at a certain level in the program, you had access to squad busters early. And so I was trying to see if I had finally achieved part of that to get access. And I don't, so... I have to wait until April 23rd, and then I'll be able to look at it. I'm curious. It's a new game. May try playing it just to help build the channel, even though I love Heyday. It also gives me a little bit of an idea of what they're trying. And I can't say I'm not a little nervous. And feeling like I have to expand because no, Peter, you don't have to. You got if you are an official, it's not just an official. If you are at a certain level within the creator program, you are able to get access to the beta early. From my understanding. It and then they, when they rolled it out to just like where they tested it, there were some people who were able to get it and did give away links. But with Clash Mini ending, there are more and more starting to try out the playing Heyday. And I kind of feel like this pressure that. Well, y'all know that I love spending this time with you guys. I wouldn't change it for the world. I like the technical. I want to make the game better. I want to be able... This is my way of trying to not just help you, but get some of my opinions. And I feel like all of a sudden there's such a flood that I'm not going to make some of my goals. There are some big names that are starting to play Hayden. And it feels very concerning. Uh, I know I have that made. Yeah, we'll see about that one. I may have said something. Then there's big changes coming because Supercell is expanding with the number of games they have. With the soft launch, even with Clash Mini having being closed, the with Clash Mini. Okay, so you you've probably seen it going around, Miss. And I saw it. And so one of the big Brawl Stars Clash Mini player, uh, content creators, OJ, uh, he had a video, and I'm not going to promote it, but the title was very clickbait, and it, he started playing Hate It. And I'm glad he liked it. I'm really glad. You know, maybe... maybe. 
sort of Sage, but we're talking like OJ is already a, a fairly big name. So when, um, when Everdale ended, when with Clash Money ended, you were able to select from options from what you had put into the game or had in the game. In the in OJ's case, he got over a hundred and I think it was a hundred and four hundred and fifteen between 114 and 115 thousand diamonds. And it came from Clash Mini. But he didn't say that in his title or his like just like video. He said it um kind of on Twitter. I had to actually go find it. Um, but like a lot of people were posting, oh my gosh, he spent thousands of dollars in heyday and he, he didn't. It was a conversion. Just so y'all are clear. And I guarantee you, Jen, myself, Ricky probably, uh, Phoebe, probably have definitely spent at least that much, if not more. Well, I know Jen and I have more over time. And I would bet that at least all four of us have spent more over the course of playing. It just wasn't in one setting. And it was very interesting to see somebody speed up wheat. I was like, be patient takes two minutes. But I do worry that it is going to make it harder for some of us who are potentially lower. It is going to help those in the program, though. Those who are already, like, Jen's level, Ricky's level, it means more people talking, communications potentially... Oh, uh, were you talking about, um, OJ Simpson, or thank you. For the fun of it, I believe. Russell, I, I really think it was just for show and fun, but, and, and he had never played. But it's definitely not something I would have chosen to do. I want my vouchers. Oh, I know what those were for. Here we go fishing. Uh, yeah, I'll probably go fishing. The other thing Mace brought up. There are changes coming to the Super Sol ID. I will post a video about it later. I am not going to talk about it now. I am going to wait for Jen and Ricky and Phoebe. I, I know in some of the other um, games and CCs have talked about some of the changes coming and 
And then even uh, the heyday, uh, our heyday Discord server, there's been a little bit, but uh, I'm going to wait for them out of respect to make that announcement. And then I will make my own. However, I highly recommend if you have not watched, if you have not gotten your custom, like Chris has hers, Beth, Russell, myself, if you haven't done that, Beboop has, the change that's going to occur will take you or bring up the, the ability to therefore create your custom avatar for Supercell. Now, unfortunately, it is still just using the pin maker. However, my video covers that. So you can, um, I'll throw up the. No, Mace, it's it's okay. I just I don't know that it's very well known and um I'd rather respect the official content creators to be the ones to make that announcement and give you guys more information. My part what I can do is Here's how you can already make this, but when the changes go through and you you see it, and I will post about it afterwards, you're going to want to have that video to follow along, and that way you can have a more customized Super Saiyan. Is it, Jen? Because there hasn't been much talk. At least not on the heyday side. I, I mean, I, I know I would probably be the first to say it. And I very rarely... Unless that's something I accidentally find, I, I really try to not. I appreciate that. Miss. I loved, I mean, I wish they'd make it more. I'm really hoping. Okay. I, I mean, I know it's been announced and like, uh, Squad Busters uh, Discord, but it hasn't been announced via Payday. Supercell is changing your Supercell ID, and you will be getting a unique Supercell ID. So some of so the, the content, the actual bigger content creators got to, to know this ahead of time. They got to save their Supercell. Let me see if it pulls up. Oh, hold on. They were able to... Um, Okay, it shows, so I cannot show you. Um, uh, hold on. Let's see if there's a way I can pull this up.
Okay. All right, bear with me a second. I'm coming back to you guys. This is what's going to happen. There's going to be a link that gets posted. This is going to go through. Yeah. You're going to get a unique. So you're going to log in with your Supercell ID. I'm not going to go through this. You'll go through. You'll verify with it. Hey, cute kitty. There's only one official Heyday Facebook page. Now, if you're talking about like groups, no, none of them are official. Absolutely no Facebook group. is associated with Hayden. However, there are, there is one that has more content creators in it than others. So you are likely to reach some, one of them. But you're also asking for a content creators help and they are not an employee of Supercell. The community managers are on the links posted on the community tab. And they are in our heyday. They are in some, uh, I know Jen has a community manager that's in her server. I cannot speak for others if they also have any of the community managers in theirs. Um, but there is only one official Facebook page. There's only one official TikTok, there's only one official X, formerly known as Twitter. There's only one if um, the Reddit is an unofficially run page. However, it does have an official community manager account in there, as well as one of the other community managers in there as well. Uh, who does not have the verified one, if that makes sense. Uh, so you do have to be careful for some of that. As we've seen, the people are trying. Hey, T. I, I get Reddit. I'm not the biggest fan of Reddit. It's changed though, so and it's I do occasionally get on there and try to help out and use it. Although the last time I did, it did not. People were kind of rude. Um, yeah, the. You're going to have the check mark next to the official one on Twitter. You can, or X, you can see like even the Supercell employees have a small Supercell logo behind them to verify that they are actual Supercell employees, even. The content creators do not, but the, the community managers do. Uh, and they all have verified accounts. But unfortunately, Facebook is not as restrictive. Even TikTok isn't as restrictive. People have 
put their names as Heyday on there and try to fake the pictures, but it'll have a check mark verification on the TikTok for their Instagram, same way. So you want to look for that check mark, and you can always ask if you're confused. One of the content creators, I'm sure, will be more than happy to help you answer, like, is this an official heyday page? And you'll know. Eventually, you'll kind of get the feel of what they're doing. This is the page you'll go to, though, you guys, when you're darn. Good night, Suzanne. Thanks for coming. When you get done with this, it will load for the... Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. It will pop up on the bottom after you've confirmed that you've gotten, like, I'm. he says I'm cute on my main uh, this main farm that you guys usually see it will pop up to this on the bottom the link this is all we have at this point I'm hoping they'll expand it and in my video it tells you a little bit why because you can't um, so like for mine I went through real quick and I got rid of you can keep some of them as you go through I got rid of like most of these here so that I could and that will re-randomize and reset it be careful hitting the button so if you turn them off the effect will let you move it that's the one I have with the music notes however what you'll learn is you can't change the color it's stuck to the color you can take the effect away you can't uh, you can take some of the accessories away you'll go through them um, and you can change them Ugh. and see I can randomize again once you get to certain things that one will do it you'll want to you'll be able to change so like mine's this color on the background you can take the background away and just have nothing but you'll be able to get that pick so if you use that video it'll help you Yes, Sandra, it does mean you have to find your passwords. You will need to do this for every one of your farms, your baby farms. I don't know if it's active yet, Mace. I don't believe it is fully. It is coming. Um, we can do... Jim, you did it as Gizmo Spike, I believe. You're... So it's not active yet. We're working on finding that answer out, Mace. It's part of the reason why I didn't want to spend too much time talking about it. Because that is an unanswered question. So Jen's been working on getting that along with um, so the sooner you know please be nice like if you don't don't do something dumb and be like um, don't don't please try not to take the Russell, I made a command. It's C S C I D E. Hopefully that makes sense. I did make a command for it. But thank you for going and getting the video back. Um, Sandra, you're going to have a little bit of time, but the faster you do it, the 
the faster you'll be able to save your farm name because it's going to be unique. You're not going to have somebody else who could go in and post, you know, he says I'm cute. Like, my other farms has, you know, this one says YouTube, he says I'm cute. Should send them for saws. Uh, you won't be able to go in and go to like settings and from my understanding and like you can maybe play with us, but you're not going to be able to have the same thing. So, you know, like, try to be respectful and not, uh, not be like, I'm going to play on gems or babies or, you know, like, one, they're already taken just in the straight, but, yeah, you can change your farm. I, I was trying to use the farm name, though, John, as the example. Like, my farm names will probably all still say, because of my kids, they'll all probably, they'll all stay my, like, kind things I don't mean to. They'll all stay, like, some variation of, he says I'm cute. But, like, my kids will probably have a different Supercell ID name. And then my farm name will have that. But, I'm going to say, when you go in and you have your farm, your thing of this is your Supercell ID name. And you're not going to, you know, I have, I use the variations of, he says I'm cute. Just be yourself. Pick something that, you know, like Mason, Mace, what did you do? Mace Ace, I think. Sam probably did Sam Cam. Yeah. Uh, so your farm name can stay, but your Supercell ID will be unique. And I think that's awesome. It's easier than tags. It's something that I'm not surprised is coming. Just let's be nice about it when we do it. And it'll also change, like when you go into um, Switch Farms, it'll replace this line here. So, there'll be, I'm sure Jen will explain it so much better. than I do and the other con bigger content creators will as well and I will post something after they have that's more I try the pin maker will be the fun thing afterwards. I really do wish they would change it. I'm hoping that they'll bring some other things. Like, I'd love to be able to customize, like, the color of the music notes or the heart. Or, I don't know, like, have some additional options from some of the other games. But, you know, like, maybe a heyday background. But for now, this is what we have. And at least... You can see progress as they're working on me. So we'll see where it comes to. We have a little bit of time left on the boosters. Um, Russell, I think this is a step. So if you guys haven't noticed, though, the software... This is why photos are so hard to have back. Um, when you do, like, Jen or Phoebe's or Ricky's or Schrummer's or any of the, the 
super content creators that have their logos in there that necessitate that's fine. But when you're trying to talk about all of the players who have to have it proved, they've got to go through a process using a software to verify them. In all likelihood, it's going to be a type of AI that does it. And that, if you haven't seen from like Ricky's experience, the AI does not work in all cases. And it's harder to go through. And you're going to have people who are offended and then it has to be checked. And it will take work. I think there, are, as much as we want photos back, They've at least given us something until they can get other areas to a place where they really feel comfortable rolling them out. And I appreciate that. And I will take that. I like the idea that like numbers get mixed up and people change their farm names, which is frustrating because if you're not we have a limit on supercell id friends so if you're not going to see that new custom supercell id and they don't change the way you can visit somebody then it could be really confusing and i wonder how that will affect coming in so like when it becomes active and you want to send a friend request, anybody who knows your unique name when it becomes searchable can find your font. That is going to be a complication. Because if I know Jens and I'm able to just go in and go give them, you know, and I put in, or you put it, you know, the tag. Now, you can go and visit and make sure it's right. You've seen that happen with all of us who want to verify giveaways that say, oh, yep, this is the right person. Done. Names are going to be easier to filter out than pictures, Mace. It, it just already is. We already have filters in place that have been on farm names. I am hoping... There's an expansion to the number of friends we get with this in the Supercell IDs because right now it's only five hundred or three hundred. It's five hundred in game. If you don't It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. I have questions. Like, if somebody knows and can search you by your Supercell ID instead of their tag, they can visit your farm. How do you stop them from doing things like going in and purchasing from your roadside shop? This is why we need the upgrade to the roadside stand where at the back here we put in like a tag or a lock for hood only or trading posts. Those hopefully mean they're coming or something because I can already see the problems that will arise from the potential of having these. We'll see how it works out. I am truly intrigued by how it's going to work. Because in other games... Hi, Alexander. Hey, I changed that. Ugh. I am sorry, you guys. I changed that. I worked on that today. It should not have done that. You did not do anything wrong, Alexander. 
it's set at like 15 and 75%. I mean, if that would, you know, yeah, that would, but it, that, Tom and Greg tend to come from sitting there too long. And it depends on the item because there's tweet times. You guys didn't realize that? I've noticed. And if you haven't, it's curious. And it's really noticeable with Jen and her stream. When she posts things on her baby farm, the amount of time that it takes for Greg or Tom to come and buy something from your stand is very different. The time that it takes for Greg or Tom to come to your stand and buy something. Jen. So depending on what you post, like crops are set at a different rate than expansion materials. And certain expansion materials are set at a lower rate, I've noticed, even on my own farm. You, Mace, I have no idea. Uh, I cannot see it in the multi-stream chat that I'm seeing. Didn't even realize you were timed out. I am sorry. But thank you for being on Twitch, because that helps me on my Twitch goals. Now I am getting close on my Twitch goals. I need 20 more followers on Twitch. And I think just a few more people averaging to watch on Twitch at the same time. And then I'll get my partnership over on Twitch. A little bit longer of a ways to go. Ricky's already done with the beta. On um, his farm, he announced today. And he's collected all of his, which I don't have. If you guys can easily tell, I don't have the beta. I didn't get it on any of my farms. So I'm curious. Sandra, you don't need Twitch. Twitch is a different platform that originally was used for game streaming before YouTube became popular. So you definitely don't need it. It's just helpful and it's a little different to use. Uh, you are absolutely great being here. On here, there's a new platform I'm going to try to. Um, actually, I may try two, but I like Twitch. There's a few more things you can do, like customize your chat color or your name color on there. So, like, I can see Mesa's in red, Russell's in orange, Sam's in green or in blue. Uh, you get little icons, like I can tell you that Sam has Prime attached on Twitch. Uh, Russell and him have the mod icon. So there's a few things you can do. You can talk to somebody in, pri like you can send them a private response. So it's, uh. They actually have changed it. It is so videos are in the works.
for Twitch. There's there's some changes going on with Twitch coming with that in the videos. But mainly Twitch is for live. And it and it's meant to be that way. So and you could do uh, different they're starting to roll it out here with the different tiers of on YouTube of subscriptions and the things you get, the emojis. But it there's some really fun stuff. But it can be like the biggest change they did is this multi streamlet where it can be as long as I don't have live chat on my screen. You're not supposed to have that. Some people do. Um, but as long as I don't have that, technically I can stream to both at the same time. Which is their biggest change and is really cool to have. Better grow me some sugar now. It's just another, just another platform that offers a little something, but it's not a necessary thing. I did it backwards, Cindy. Because I'm really not comfortable with editing and doing videos. So I'm kind of backwards. All the videos that I have posted are one take. So I really try to make sure I don't mess up. And that's part of the reason why I have some of the baby farms that I have. Mace, get some sleep. I won't be on much longer. I've got to get some rest before Ricky streams tonight myself. Next week, we are doing, I think they called it Garden Week. So you guys are going to uh, Peter, you're 25. We're all, we're 25. Don't even worry about it. It's not Earth Week. They're doing Garden Week. And that's next week. We will be harvesting certain crops. Let me pull up the... the picture to show you which crops that you can be working on. There we go. Okay. This is the picture that went with it. The hit a release today. They're supposed to be spring deco out in the seasonal. I don't know that there are any release dates known. We should be getting, in theory, diamond deco packs. The next deco that I can for sure tell you, and I'm not even sure that Jen can say differently, is that in the task event, which should be, I would guess, the week of the 22nd, we will get the root cellar, there was something else in there, that will come. But beyond that, I don't know for sure when we are going to get, or what deco we are going to we tend to get diamond deco packs a 
we, you know, a little bit after we get, oh yes, the rabbit, that's right. Thanks, Russell. So we'll get the rabbit on Greg's farm with the carrots, and we'll get the root cellar during the task event, which I believe will be the following week after next week's garden week, as they put it. And these are the crops you're going to want to focus on. Pumpkins, apples, strawberries, tomatoes, carrots, cherries, and chili peppers. Beyond that, not the only other information that was given was in the Dairy News, and that looked like down here, that is a white pumpkin. That is not garlic. That's too long of a stem for garlic, technically. I guess it could be. But that is not a good representation of garlic. In the Dairy News, we saw Mike, I think it was Mike, but I think that's the character's name, uh, go up to the house wanting to sell cherries at a high coin price. So I would take it as it's going to, if I were to guess, which is all I have, is that based off the dairy news, we're going to have like a coin visitor event that's focused on these crops being worth extra money. That is all I know. That is all the information that I can even guess. All they said today is that starting next week, so it should be Monday, will be garden week, and these are the crops to start prepping. Thankfully not strawberries and chili peppers and tomatoes are your longest plant crops, which are unfortunately the only plant crop that is a short is carrots. I was really hoping maybe they'd throw in something else. Cherries do take longer than apples to grow for trees and they each need a different. Yeah. That the their post does look kind of like a random grouping of and it's kind of cool. They even used, if you notice, the baskets for the cherries, the tomatoes, and the strawberries. Um, and the middle sized ones there are the baskets that are like the head on the heads of the ducks for the sanctuary deco. And the basket with the strawberries in the very front is similar to, is kind of like the style of the basket from the uh, county fair so I'm wondering if this is kind of like a little bit of a tie-in of a thing that are kind of coming for some of the stuff this month and then the baskets the they're the barrels are kind of more of a common but we have table we have deco based off of the barrels themselves, tables. So it'll be interesting to see 
how this works. I really was hoping for some shorter crops. But we may have some surprises. I doubt they gave us all of the crops that we're going to use and only these crops in their post today. But maybe not. Maybe they're surprising us and that's all we're getting. Okay. We'll see. So yeah, this... I call it a root cellar, but I don't know fruit cellar. Uh... That's, that one's coming, and so is, uh, it could not have taken it down already, really. Did they really take it down? You, that is the most ridiculous thing if they did. Russell, you always know where things are. Where's the carrot? You cannot tell me they took down the carrot already. We haven't even got the deco yet and it's not even out. What an oversight. So frustrating and then it's not out here. And we're back. If you guys haven't noticed, they also went backwards and they put last month's hats on the animals. Don't know why. They gave us a head look in March. For April for what's to come and now we've gone mm, frustratingly backwards. I will not be surprised if this deco comes back the stacked produce as part of next week. But I can't can't guarantee that. And unfortunately, you missed the Ramadan deco. Y'all know that. Logan's just prepping for the trip. It's not that Greg's farm is not cute, because it's cute, because you now there's hope then. We haven't gotten the gravel path yet. We got the roses last year, but I'm hoping they come back this year. I don't want any more of the garden. It's like the snow chicken now. There's... Greg's farm is cute. There are definite things that are very cute on here that I'm hoping to see. As you can see, the flamingo is not out yet. They went backwards in some ways. It's just sad. I I knew it was going to be close, Cindy, because four days at 180 was pushing it when you, especially when you took away the Two times XP trucks on Tuesday. I almost guarantee if they had left that event in there on Tuesday, which if you think about this, think about the number of people who do not watch content creators. There's so many players that still do not watch YouTube, Twitch, 
TikTok, any form of content creators. We're always close. If they had said it at 160, would have been fine. I don't really understand why they wouldn't have. So many players have now adjusted to this pattern. Monday, spin the wheel. Tuesday, try. Wednesday boats, Thursday town or uh, farm visitors, Friday farm pass. Which, by the way, tomorrow make sure you are ready to finish your farm pass goals. I've got mine sitting here. I probably should have them like that, but I haven't been sending notes. Uh, it will tomorrow. But I liked the county fair better. And before I go, I will do one of the bo my bonuses. We have been so close on so many. And it is... We missed that whole set from the pet hotel, the dog. Did we get the pet hotel? With the little bees, I can't remember. We have messed so close. This is the sheep sweep and close on the Venetians. They've we got the Venetian to come back as a diamond, but it took two years. So we're in this pattern of what we're getting used to. We've also haven't had an XP pet event in a while. We need to get that back. That was an amazing one. I don't mind that they took out the... mystery boxes and they're trying it with this new beta, which I don't think is going to work. Just from what I've seen, I wouldn't be participating in it. I don't... I get them half the time. I'll forget to collect them in here, even. Which... The Valley Deck goes super cute. But you can see the baskets are kind of based off of the tops of this one. And last week we talked about the changes I wanted to see coming. But we they really have got to start changing things. I know that they probably want to spend money to speed up product. But if you're not If you're not, if, if it were, if you're consistently not seeing players spend the diamonds to do that, then it's not making you the money. We have got to change how we're doing it. Hopefully, we'll find results with that, but. I don't. I just don't, I don't know what we're going to do. We, we didn't get a deco for, did we reach it for international women's? That was a help of that, wasn't it? I can't remember if we reached it or not. But we didn't get much for it. So... It's really random how it falls, and I don't like that they're messing with the calendar. Yeah, the 10 diamonds, which I get for free to play players, and the help is easier because you're not trying to prep a bunch of tracks. You also should be prepping for tracks for if you want the XP on Saturday. And there's also the town XP on Saturday. It's a good it's a good double XP. I think it's the first time we've had a dual big XP day in a I don't know if ever and if it 
hasn't, if it's not the first ever, it's been a while. Because I can't remember. But we, they definitely need some changes there. Jen's going to make the announcement for the change, so check her server. I'll post something uh, if I can stay awake probably tomorrow or this weekend about it as well for the super subtle change. You have the events. You can start if you have the silo space. Start stocking up on those tomatoes and strawberries. Hey, Cole. It's going to be interesting. We're having garden wheat, Cole. Strawberries, tomatoes, chili peppers, apples, carrots, cherries, and pumpkins. That is what... Next week, so far that we know of, is focusing on exactly the full details of the event. Unknown. Dairy News, they did show Mike going up to the farmhouse asking for the cherries for a higher price in coin. My best guess is that... That is what we're going to be seeing is kind of a crop, so you know, a limited crop focused coin event. But I don't know for sure. We'll have to wait and find out. Maybe Jen will know tomorrow or. Cool. I don't know. I don't know if it'll be double coins for that event or if it'll be something different. It could be a completely new combination. I don't know. We saw a very little bit of it in the Dairy News and nothing else has been released other than today. Heyday posted a picture which you missed out and I showed was the strawberries and pumpkins. I had a white pumpkin, which is the one odd thing in there. They had pumpkins, strawberries, tomatoes, cherries, chili peppers, apples, carrots. The, the one thing different that, could, that I can say about potentially having the it being focused on the crops and it being guaranteed, although this seems like we're trying to throw a ridiculous amount of filler events into one month. I mean, in absolute ridiculous. We still know we're going to have a task event coming. And it's for, like, a deco we don't have out on Greg's. That was, yes, it's spring, but most people associated with the Easter. We've got the county fair this week, which has been good, in all fairness. Really good event. Not going to complain about it. I like it. Don't mind having these. And I'm not changing my gameplay very much. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm going to finish it real quick here for today. We just know it's a money grab event. Because of the lucky bonus.
for it. Oh my. Sam. In all fairness, you don't have to do the lucky bonuses. That is... But the Quinn and XP are amazing in exchange. And the rewards here... I mean, 12... That's 12 boats that I got for one day. Well, that's 22 today. 22 boats. It's like I said, 22 boats. Or voucher trucks. For less product. Way less product. This part is amazing. Bring it back. Do a little bit of tweaks because I don't want. Which, as you can see, my point now that I filled it, my points were away. But if we went back and looked at them, I want twenty five for jam. I don't want some of those. But this was a good, you know, once a good XP. I don't have to do lucky bonuses if I don't want to. I'm getting, you know, so this part is, in all honesty, good. This part, we'll try. If I bomb out, I'm not going to. Oh, I have two one more to go. Okay, next round. There we go. Puzzle piece. That's all I want. Oh, I got it. Oh, oh you guys are lucky tonight. Oh, of course I love that. I'm going to spend it. Okay, we'll end my bonus here. I don't think there's a puzzle piece. Now, not a lot here, but worth the gems that I spent. That's a lot. Don't have to play it if I don't want to. Hey, Anthony. So it's not, like, this is actually pretty good, I think, in all fairness. Either way, if you don't play the bonus, you're not spending diamonds and you're still getting plenty. We know how many each of those are, oh, each of those are worth. I mean, that's 15, 12 times 15 is going to be be 180 diamonds. That's less than what I would have spent. Let's see, 90, 60, 150, 180. Oh, well, let's see. Yeah. 180 is what I would have spent if I bombed out on the last round. And I got way more than I spent. So. I can't complain there, but that's, that's just for me. But if I had just, you know, looking at what I'm getting in a day is worth the diamonds to me. Tomorrow, I need the saws. Those don't really cost diamonds. Those cost coins if you can find them. Or, you know, Tom, 15 diamonds there. But your 36 diamonds for the three deeds, which I don't need, so. Awesome, Anthony. I appreciate y'all showing up. I really. I very missed that I was bad. Y'all are so sweet. Y'all are the reason I do this. You can keep going with the county fair, or you can prep it for the next day. That's a hit. The beta, from what I've seen, get rid of it. Don't care. I'm hoping this comes back. I do wish they'd bring a few of the other events that 
the new events that they had to come back that we haven't seen since the beginning of the year with the changes. Not this week, but I will stream Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern. U.S. And then I'm not sure if the maid. I know John said okay yesterday. I may talk some more just so that it's not back to back on a night with Ricky while she's on vacation. I may take her Wednesday night. And then that way I can get some rest on Thursdays before Ricky streams. But I may stick to Thursdays just to make it easier. But I will be here on Monday. Shelly, I completely understand. And if you need to come for a distraction, hopefully I can do that for you. If not, you know what's love side to ya uh, then and I completely understand I'm not taking everything away from John I absolutely adore John you're so mean to her Sam She's going to back out of coming and seeing you. <sighs> so much trouble. There's too many stairs, Sam. Too many stairs. Okay, the couch does look comfy, though. <gasps> Sam would be nice. Stop being nice. All right, y'all. We have lots going on. Town or trucks or both. Great day to use your coin and XP boosters that you can get tomorrow in the farm pass. Don't forget to finish your farm pass events tomorrow. So good if you can. Thank y'all for being here tonight. I appreciate it so much. I will see y'all Monday. Uh, back here on my channel. I will see you in other streams. Happy farming, y'all. Lots of love. Bye, y'all.